Do you sell sustainable seafood? Asking this simple question can have a huge impact. Here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, it's a question we ask our vendors. Feeding over 10,000 animals is not an easy task, and of those, over 200 require seafood as a main part of their diet. I'm an animal nutrition assistant, and I help make and deliver the diets unique to each of our animals every day here at the zoo. Here at the zoo, we have a few species that rely solely on seafood. Our penguins, pelicans, sharks, and Asian small clawed otters. Seafood is a vital part of these animals' diets. It's high in protein and can either be high or low in fat, meaning it's either high or low in calories as well. This is also really high in minerals and amino acids, so it's a complete protein source for these species. When they eat the whole fish, their skeleton also provides lots of calcium for them as well. Our penguins, pelicans, and sharks eat mostly fish, while our Asian small clawed otters also get things like scallops, clams, mussels, and shrimp. One of the biggest problems threatening our oceans is overfishing. This is catching fish faster than they can reproduce. Many fish populations are dwindling, and this can cause a chain reaction, harming other animals that are dependent on them, as well as marine habitats. It's not merely that we are catching too many fish, it's also the manner of how we fish and where we fish. If not done responsibly with the environment in mind, bottom trawling and dredging can damage the delicate ocean floor, catching everything in its path. Bottom trawls are cone-shaped nets that are dragged along ocean floors to catch bottom dwellers, such as shrimp, cod, halibut, and lobster. Dredges are metal baskets with teeth or rakes on them that help dig up the ocean floor to catch clams, mussels, and scallops. Also, animals like sea turtles, sharks, marine mammals, and seabirds may be caught by accident and become bycatch, or wasted catch, due to gill nets and long lines, which can catch anything that swims by. Gill nets are walls of netting nearly invisible to fish, and they can catch anything that swims into them. Long lines have a central line reaching 1 to 30 miles long, with smaller lines strung down with baited hooks. 90% of all fisheries are fully fished, overfished, or have completely collapsed. A collapsed fishery is one where populations are at 10% or less than historic levels. Additionally, catches have been declining in both quantity and size of fish. Now we're catching fish that are smaller, that may not have reached maturity and can't replenish population. To help save our oceans and all the species that call it home, we strive to provide sustainable seafood for our animals. Sustainable seafood is caught in a way that can increase or maintain population levels without jeopardizing the structure of the environment. Luckily, when fisheries use modified equipment and environmentally friendly practices, they can drastically reduce their bycatch rates and negative impacts on the environment. Here at the zoo, we stock over 40 different seafood products from over 15 different vendors. To ensure that we're providing sustainable seafood for our animals, we have a great relationship with our vendors. They help point us in the right direction, toward fish species that are thriving and away from others that we need to avoid to allow to recover. Another tool we use is the Seafood Watch Guide. It breaks it down into three categories, a green best choice option, a yellow good alternative option, and a red avoid option. We try to give our animals only foods from the green best choice category. We will sometimes go into the yellow good alternative category, but only after we've done our homework and make sure that the vendors meet our strict requirements. Just like here at the zoo, you can also use the Seafood Watch Guides. If you download the app, you'll get the most updated recommendations for sustainable seafood in your area. Also, don't forget to ask your local stores and restaurants, do you sell sustainable seafood? Some of the largest food service companies, several supermarket retailers, and other local businesses have already committed to providing only sustainable seafood. And if they don't already, asking the question is an easy way to create demand for environmentally responsible products in the future. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time to learn how you can help save the planet at home.